Hey everyone, I am here today to show you Ivana by Renee of Paris in the color Mochaccino Long Rooted. There we go, focus takes just a second. Ivana, Mochaccino Long Rooted. I've had this Ivana for a long time. A wig sister generously sent Ivana to me so that I could get some experience with Ivana. I could check out this color and really bring you guys some information about this piece. Ivana's been around for quite some time and she is quite popular. And so I'm very, very uh, grateful for the opportunity to show you guys Ivana. So before I talk about her too much, let me show you what Ivana looks like on all sides. So as you look at her, notice that she is a little bit of an angled light, it's a, what's known as a lob, a lang, uh, uh, an angled long bob. There we go, I got it out, an angled long bob. She's a little shorter at the top and the back here. And then she kind of angles down a little bit in the front. It isn't super extreme, it's really quite cute. Sometimes you'll get those angled bobs and they're super extreme or the back is so short. This one is a nice length. I would say the back is more kind of traditional bob length and this is a long bob length. She has this shattered wave pattern to her as well. It looks like you might have taken a flat iron and put just a few waves into her with a flat iron. If you've ever seen that, when you flip a flat, flat iron around a little bit as you pull the hair through, and it just creates like a crimp almost. That's what this reminds me of. Uh, I would consider this piece more of a fashion piece just simply because of um, sort of how the colors are distributed. This is like a, an ombre look. It has a super dark root. So you can see it's very dark. And then you've got this kind of ombre light golden brown. Kind of a blend between a light golden brown and a dark golden blonde is what this reminds me of. I think that brunettes can wear this one if you're comfortable with a lot of highlights uh, because of how dark it is up here. And I would say that blondes, if you're really looking for something fun and unique and you want to go a little darker, you could probably do this as well. Something that I noticed is that they do put some of that light color kind of in individual strands almost throughout this. I don't know if you can kind of see that in there. It almost gives it an ashy look up here. This isn't an, I wouldn't really consider this an ashy color, but this almost gives it an ashy look, almost as though you've got maybe salt and peppery kind of like your hair maybe starting to gray a little bit at the roots, um, but it's more blended and then it kind of goes into this color. So maybe you've enhanced your hair color with some ombre tones or something at the salon. Uh, Ivana does have a lace front and a mono part and so the lace front is right here and one thing I do notice with Renee of Paris wigs a lot is how dense their lace fronts are. You can see that here and because the color is so dark you can kind of see the knotting and it's really densely knotted. They're not in my opinion the most realistic lace fronts out there. That said, I do think they're a little bit more of a fashion line and I think if you're going to wear this piece down and you're not going to pull the hair up, you won't notice it. But if you're going to pull the hair up, you can do a few things to enhance that you can put a little uh, translucent powder right on the edge here which will hide some of those knots. I have done that before. You can also pluck just a little bit to give it so it's not so, so dense. Uh, or you're just not as sensitive. I, I wouldn't really worry about it too much personally. I just don't think people are looking at our hairlines really that closely. So it's all personal preference. But I do want to point out that the, uh, their lace fronts 
especially with dark rooting or, or in brunettes, just a little bit knotty and definitely a little more dense than some. And then the mono part, that's another thing I noticed with Renee of Paris wigs. You can't really see the monofilament here. It's very densely knotted. Again, uh, a little stray flyaways in my eyes. Again, that's a common thing with Renee of Paris wigs. They tend to be really densely knotted at the part line. I know a lot of women have plucked their part lines to give it a little more realism. I keep meaning to do that. Uh, I just have not yet done that. Um, so someday <laughs> I will practice that and I will uh, bring that to you guys in a video just to help. But I know that a lot of people do that. So for me personally, I like to see a little bit more of a part line. If I'm going to pay the, for the premium feature, I do like to see it. I have put foundation on part lines before to draw them out and that's one thing that you can do to help. And you just dab a little foundation on the underside and then on the top you kind of go back and forth and it will draw that part line out a little more. You can see that even up close here. You can kind of see it, but it's pretty densely knotted. And because I do have some bio hair, it's probably disguising that even more. Even though my bio hair is thin, I still have some. So let's take a look at the cap. So there's that lace front and that mono part. And the lace front is just pretty much from here to here. It doesn't go down to the temples or down to the ear tabs. It's more narrow and you can see that here. It does have a lot of uh, hair sewn in on the ear tabs, which gives it a lot of good coverage on the sides there, and I can show that to you. There is no extended nape, and there are bra strap pull adjusters. I um, also find Renee of Paris wigs to fit, um, kind of, it, it varies. Sometimes they fit me a little tight. Sometimes they fit me a little generous. Ivana fits me a little generous. I do have her cinched in just slightly. And she's very comfortable, very comfortable. The coverage is excellent. The ear, the cover, ear tabs go all the way down to my ears. And because there's hair sewn in there, you really get good coverage on the sides. So um, the coverage is excellent on this. Good stretch on the cap. Something else I've noticed about this one is she does have quite a few flyaways. Uh, the hair fibers are, you know, they're... They're kind of a medium denier, but I have noticed that she has a lot of flyaways. So it's just something that you work with. I think, you know, she'll, she'll settle into herself over time and water helps with that a lot. She doesn't have a lot of permatease at all. There is a little bit of crimpy fibers here on the sides. There, it's not poofy, pillowy permatease at all, but I can feel the crimpy fibers. What that does is it gives her just a little bit of body right here. And you can see that. You can see how she sort of lifts up off the sides a little bit. There's no permatease on the top at all, though, so she's actually quite flat on the top. She has a very flat profile, poofs out just ever so slightly on the sides to give those waves some body. But she's not heavy hair density at all. I had an Ivana within a few months of my wig wearing journey a few years ago. Um, I did not get overwhelmed by her, and I was overwhelmed a lot with wigs. She didn't overwhelm me. She, I didn't feel she was poofy. The only kind of complaint I had at the time was just how much kind of the hair was right here. And I wasn't used to that. I really, you know, <laughs> we're all so different in our journey and, and what we're coming from, whether we had a lot of hair at one point, whether we've been losing our hair for a super long time. So what bothers each of us is just a little bit different. And for me, having a lot of hair around my face was a real struggle for me because I was not used to that. And so um, now, though, I think she's such a cute style. She's super fun. I would totally wear this, like, to go out to dinner with my husband or you know just to go hang out with some friends it's just it looks like you just took a little bit of time you put some waves in your hair you scrunched it up a little bit and it's really cute um, you certainly can pull it off the face you can pull it back into clips um, I think there's a lot that you can do keep in mind that the lace doesn't go all the way down so you'll just be careful how you style it um, and then you know just play with it 
let me know if you guys have questions. Essentially, Yvonne is a super cute style, not a lot of poof, not a lot of kind of permatees, just enough to give her a really cute style. And I really kind of love this fun, shattered, wavy look that has just a slight A-line. All right, guys, I'm going to get outside so you can see this really cool color outside. I don't have an out-of-the-box because this came to me from a wig sister. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey everyone, okay, I'm outside with Mochaccino LR by Renee of Paris. This is on Ivana. It's tough for me to get these outside looks, you guys. I'm really sorry. Hopefully the quality is good, but we're at the time of the year with the fall. I have no leaves on the trees anymore. And I have a very small window of the day when it's not too sunny everywhere in my yard. So I'm doing the best that I can. I love this. I think it's really unique and kind of fits whether you're looking for a lighter or a darker color. It's just really fun. It's definitely means warm. This has an ashy look to it though. It really does but it definitely leans warm overall. Okay, hopefully that was helpful and you got what you were looking for. Thanks for watching.